May the month be with you. I knew I had to talk about something Star Wars this month. I did make a promise though that I wouldn't talk about the movies anymore. I love Star Wars. It's got two good shows, two good movies, and a lot of good games. Let's take a quick survey, all right? Question one, are you a Gen Z adult? Follow-up question, if yes, do you like the Star Wars prequels? My least favorite modern trend is when people my age come out of the woodwork to defend a movie that is not good. People think it's good just because it came out when we were kids and it keeps happening. Dougal goes hard, Shark Tale's pretty good, Chicken Little's goaded, I beg you to watch other movies. I'm not here to talk about why the prequel movies are bad movies. That's been done to death. I'm here to talk about why people think they're good. Nostalgia, memes, and misremembering. That's it. I thought we were all in agreement that these lines are iconic, but not unironically. Like, it's because they're bad. We all know the lines are... We Are we not on the same page anymore? They're just, like, weird funny. I've legitimately talked to people before where I asked them why they liked the prequel films, and their answer was, oh, have you seen the memes? It's got so many memorable lines. Your brains have been Marvel poisoned. Log off of Reddit right now. I'm being too bitter. The other side is nostalgia, plain and simple. People my age really like the prequels era, but that doesn't necessarily mean the movies are to blame. This is why I think the new trilogy struggled to really find its footing. By the way, check out my new ironic shirt. Knights of Ren. When the original trilogy came out, there were books about it, games about it, toys set in the era. When the prequels came out, they got two fantastic animated shows, a bunch of banger games, some awesome toys. I'm nostalgic for the era too, guys, just not the movies. The new trilogy had just started, so Disney released a game set in the original trilogy, a show set in the original trilogy a bunch of side movies that are prequels to the original trilogy. They eventually expanded the games to also being set in the prequels and brought back the popular show set in the prequels. That's all good. I like that the show is back, but what do modern kids get from this modern era of Star Wars? Fortnite? The Mandalorian is kind of set in that era if you squint really hard, but it was way too late for that. My point is, prequel movies? No, 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 no. But the games and shows? unmatched. But after wasting all that time, we're not here to talk about the toys or the shows or the good Star Wars games. We're here to talk about a very specific Star Wars game. Back in the day, licensed games would flood store shelves despite being ass central. Star Wars is one of the few exceptions where their licensed games are actually famously good. Up there with Mickey Mouse and Shaquille O'Neal. Everyone knows Lego Star Wars, everyone knows Battlefront, everyone's played Pod Racer. It's a legal requirement. But there's a difference between games set in big universe licensed and game based around a movie licensed. You watched my Xbox video a couple months back you'll notice that most of the games I played were Wally, Cars, and Shrek. And the non-LEGO Star Wars licensed game I had was simply titled Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. The video game. As a kid, my friends and I, the Call of Duty and PlayStation friends, all had it and could all equally not beat it. People tell me Dark Souls is hard and I laugh. I piss my pants when this game enters the room. This video game chronicles the entire story of the third prequel movie that would come out a month after the game. I mean, people pretty much knew what was going to happen. The prequels weren't doing too hot at the time, so they slapped Darth Vader all over the marketing, like, oh, it's the thing you like. We knew Anakin was gonna bite it, but we didn't know how. So if you beat this game in the month before the movie came out, you could see how the movie ended before the movie came out. Like, imagine if you cranked enough 90s as Thanos in Fortnite, and then you got to see the ending of Endgame a month before the movie came out, there would be chaos. Or there would have been had the game not been impossible. My old capture card is famously bad at capturing original Xbox games. It looks very bad. So while I always wanted to revisit it, it would have had to have been on my own time. But I rarely do things for myself outside of content. I'm a content machine. So it was looking like I may never play this game again. And then at the end of 2021, for no reason, Microsoft announced the new batch of backwards compatible games to the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. And in that batch, with Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith video game is now playable on the next-gen consoles. I mean, you still can't play Blinks 2 or Time Crisis 3 or even the original LEGO Star Wars games, but you can play this on the console. All right, I feel like this was done solely to mess with me. So, I guess there's no better time than right now. I need to force get it 
uh, force myself to fulfill a childhood dream and beat the game I could never beat. Let's get into it. Starting out, full disclosure, I have attempted to play this game since. My original save with the incorrect date is titled Sith, because even back then, I was an edgy kid. One time, like six years back, Dump Squad alumni Logan came to visit with his PS2, and we hit up the local retro game store. And we picked up the PS2 version, because I remembered it so fondly, we couldn't get past the first level, and then got bored, I think. Senior year of high school, I had all the boys over, and along the walls was a multiple TV setup. I wanted the hangout spot to feel like an arcade. I had the original Xbox set up in the middle of the room on this giant tube TV and I loaded up the game so we could all play it. We named this profile shit because I was a different kind of edgy in high school. <laughs> one by one all the boys got bored of it and promptly moved on to do something else except for Kyle. My roommate and walking ARG Kyle is what I like to call a go hard gamer because he goes hard. He'll play StarCraft and League and Warzone for hours upon end and become like top ranked in them and he gets so invested and then he plays a normal game and like goes through it super fast. But still imagine my shock when we had woken up it was a slumber party and he had both not slept and beaten the game. Or at least that's what we saw. I'm making wild assumptions here so you know uh libel but I remember playing the final level as a kid. That's because one of my kids in my toddler friend group, when I was a toddler, I wasn't, I wasn't friends with toddlers in high school, got the walkthrough guide, like in the form of the big books that fall apart the second you buy them, and figured out that you could just use a password to access any level. So that's what we did. We cheated. So it wouldn't be crazy to say that with now everyone having internet access, Kyle could have easily found said codes and beaten just the final level. It's a completely groundless rumor and probably slander, but I think it makes a better story if no one close to me had ever beaten this before me. So I'm gonna go with that and you should too. Tell everyone. All right, I've stalled long enough. Let's start. You know, the video game? Level one. On a fresh save, it starts you right into the opening cutscene, which is just the opening scene from the actual movie. It's low quality, I know, but remember, this could have been the first time you've seen this scene. I know the game has a multiplayer fighting mode, so I assumed it would have a kind of robust combat system. I did not think most of it would be blocking. It's over, Anakin. You cannot bust it down sexual style. You underestimate my power. <laughs> I must have been really dumb as a kid because you can really do the bare minimum here and just get by. I'm so used to Lego Star Wars that if you're playing with a CPU, they're kind of just there for moral support. But in this game, you just hide and block while Obi-Wan slaughters these guys. Look, he's on his dinky little phone and block it with the other hand. Sorry, babe. Some robots are trying to kill me. No, no I can still talk. The voice actors aren't the actual live action actors, but since the Clone Wars series blew those movies out of the water, I prefer the voice actors anyway. But these guys weren't cast yet. You can notice a big difference between pre-Clone Wars Anakin performances uh, by how breathy and whiny he sounds. They capture movie Anakin so well. He's played by Matt Lucas, whose credits include 2005 Star Wars The Clone Wars, This Game, Battlefront 2, and Winx Club Beyond Belief. All right, we still have a mission to complete. Why have him spawn behind me if he's just going to explode anyway? No backtracking now. Oh, now I know what kind of game this is gonna be. It's mostly combat. You get walled off, fight enemies, remove wall, move on to next enemy area. Oh, thank God it's you two. I've been stuck in here for... Wait, gu guys, I'm still in here. There's someone still in here. I'm still... <laughs> well, they killed R2. At least we're both okay. I can't live without him. R2's done it. Let's get moving. The Chancellor's waiting. We can handle this, R2. You stay here with the ships. What? Why? He's been getting his ass kicked this whole time. Well, I beat level one. It was way easier than I remember. All I had to do was block. Oh man, they got RPG elements. I got experience points. 64 fair. Nothing good. Nothing incredible. The bare minimum. I put all my stats into saber throw, a move I did not know I could do. And this part just broke my heart to see. The default name is Sith. Kid me wasn't edgy enough. Teen me was still breaking down those comedy barriers though. There we go. Hits. As in, I got through the level without getting any hits. Level two. That's the situation, Captain. Two Jedi have landed in the main hangar bay. <gasps> Just as Kaduku predicted. <laughs> this movie
movie looks way worse than I remember. So it's been brought to my attention that I have been gaslighting myself for years. I could never force myself to rewatch Revenge of the Sith and I could barely pay attention the first time I watched it as a kid. I thought I was obsessed with it before. I remember everything about it, but most of my memories are either from this game or Lego Star Wars. And there are way more discrepancies than you would think. If you look up Revenge of the Sith deleted scenes right now, you will stumble across hours of content. Game development takes a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if this game was being created with the pre-production production footage. But because of that, a ton of stuff I thought I remembered from the movie is actually scenes from the game that were based off an earlier version of the movie that got cut out later. But the game was mostly done. They had built an entire level out of a 30 second deleted scene. What were they supposed to do? So whenever I was like, my favorite scene is when they fight on top of the elevator, I was actually remembering the game fondly not the movie. I'm only proving my hypothesis more. There are 17 levels in total. Each level you alternate between playing as Anakin and playing as Obi-Wan with a margin of error later. Anakin and Obi-Wan have more or less the same moveset right now. I assume that force choking was just an Anakin thing, but good guy Obi can do it too, I guess. But what Obi does have over Anakin is a special grab. Let's see what it does. Oh. All right, stop it, stop, I'm serious, stop. How is that a grapple? Or maybe they're just introducing new mechanics that they didn't in the past level. Use your force power to force heal using your force meter after you force jump to get a force power up. Oh, here we go. Hit the white button to throw saber. So the original Xbox controller had these two black and white buttons to try and stand out before they dropped them immediately because they're so out of the way. This controller is huge. To use saber throw, I would basically have to take my finger off the control buttons and go up to the colored ones. But I played this on a modern console, so you could just use the bumpers. And speaking of deleted scenes and source material stretching, does anyone in the movies ever actually throw their lightsaber like a boomerang? Like 70% of the Star Wars games I've played have this mechanic and I couldn't find it anywhere in the source material. The first guy who developed the saber throw move must have been like, Whoa. You could also stick your little saber in a door to open it like a big key, a key saber, if you will. I'm doing these one at a time, and I was going off the assumption that the computer was always elite, but maybe it's just an Obi-Wan thing, because Anakin sucks. I'm sure he'll be fine over there. At least the game is movie accurate. Well, this is definitely a scene from the movie. You can tell because of the... Uh, even these enemies aren't in the movie. Oh cool, I unlocked some concept art. I can't wait to see early designs for stuff from the movie. This sequence was cut from the film, but was retained for the game. More from the cut sequence. Early concept for Grapple Droid. This man does not have a second of screen time in this film. Do I have to watch the movie again as well to fully grasp this game? No way I got good this time. I did way worse. Now these stats are cool and all. Uh, but I think I'm gonna put it all on saber throw. Level three. We're now on level three of 17, and we're still in the opening of the movie. To be fair, most of this movie is boring walking down corridors. So yeah, they would choose the action heavy scenes for levels. I wanted to play the pregnancy nightmare level. Most of the deleted scenes in the movie are from this opening on the ship. Uh, they had way higher hopes. It's broken. Can you understand what he's saying? I'm not a protocol droid. I'm pretty sure that beep is down. I sense Count Dooku is above us. Oh, yes, 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 you're right. Beep is up. Why on earth would you cut this out? It's hilarious. Drop your weapons. I said drop them. Roger. 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 <laughs> I can't believe they cut out all the scenes with actual banter. I was overreacting before. I just bodied hundreds of droids and even super battle droids. This is going to be a piece of cake. Jesus Christ! Your lightsaber will burn Destroy through that droids. door. You think that shield will help you? Hey, can we talk one at a time, please? Obi-Wan keeps saying like the second half of one-liners and they're barely in context. Where's the boy? <laughs> Boy's gone. Hmm. Well, you can't tell me what to do. Hey, look, it's the elevator. My favorite movie scene. Fair, 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 fair. What do I have to do to impress you? There's an entirely new enemy class of jetpack droid, and I can't prove it, 
but I just know this was cut from the movie. There's no way they made original characters for this game. <laughs> what just shot me? They keep dropping enemies on the elevator and you could just yeah, like push them off immediately. You don't even need to sometimes. They just spawn already falling off. What a hellish life. The separatists have stopped my car. The separatists have pulled me over for speeding in a school zone. My car is stopped. I suspect they know we're coming. The separatists have charged me for vehicular manslaughter. Find the shield's power source and disable it. Loud and clear, master. Heads up, young Jedi. Plunge your lightsaber into that door. Stop yelling at me. I'm not a toddler. Anakin forced the ship. Anakin do a force jump. Anakin move this heavy thing. What if I killed you instead, huh? Now, cool, I got an impressive for killing a droidica. See, this is positive reinforcement. I sense a disturbance in the force. More scrap. When our Obi's in the fray, those poor droids don't stand a chance. Anakin, watch out. Anakin, watch out. Yeah! At least let him finish his animation, man. I wish I could talk more about the gameplay and not just the cutscenes, but the elevator is the gameplay. You're seeing it right now. We're about to become a lot thinner. Quick, back into the car. You first, master. There's no time to argue, go! Well, that level's done. If Anakin ever wants to be able to beat Obi-Wan, he needs to become more well-rounded as a Jedi. So I'm gonna put it all in saber throw. Level four. Starting to get flashbacks. We hit some bumps in the road to get here, but it's been mostly smooth sailing. Then we get to this level, a boss level, and I start to remember. Yep, it's all coming back to me. This game is like a Kirby game. Uh, let me explain. In the sense that the levels are super easy and then the bosses steal your lunch. We have to fight Count Dooku and he's quite the opponent. I'm pretty sure it is on purpose, but because of the way the character uses a fighting stance, it looks like the model is just A-posing. Uh, that's convenient. You can block my lightsaber, but let's see you block a chair. What's that? Uh, you're finished, Dooku. Dude, you are not helping at all. I thought I could sit back and block while Obi does the work, but he just forgot how to fight between levels. And that's why there's no two player. If you hurt him, I'll kill you. It would, did that not hurt him? I feel like we should just kill him anyway. This game is great at putting you in the mind of Anakin because I immediately want to kill this guy. Dark side, not impressed. There's no chairs here to throw. Good thing I put all my points in saber throw. Ah! I gotta say, everything in this game is explained very well, but then it tells you to do a special attack with Y. So I do it and it looks like a quick time event and Anakin starts to lose ground. So I started mashing all the buttons and then I won. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but it doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to do and I refuse to risk not trying. Second section done with, moving on. Every time you get the countdown to a certain health, it transitions into the next stage of the fight in a different area. Hey, like from Star Wars. I'm backed into a corner, up against the ropes. There's only one thing I can do. Saber throw! That did not work. Ah, yes. Excellent form. I'm just blocking. I mean, you're right, it's working, but I'm not really doing anything. I'm in the final phase. I'm doing some real damage. Our health bars are neck and neck, and I'm, I'm dead. I died. He killed me. I died more times in this level than the entire game up until this point. Uh, once. Maybe I shouldn't have put it all in saber throw. All right, let's run it back. Don't finish. Dooku. Yeah, that'll show him. You may be choking me, but you're the one who's finished. Oh my god. I couldn't hit him. I couldn't pick him up. I couldn't saber throw. I just started throwing shit at him. And this game has got to have the most machine learning ass AI because as soon as I saber throw, he saber throws. I started to grab him in the final part. He starts grabbing me. It just became a force battle. The lightsabers were not needed. Also, hey, check this out. Don't force me to kill you. It's the line from the end of the movie, except with force in it because Star Wars. Let's try that one more time. At this point, I'm just gonna conserve my health as much as possible. I always get to the end, but then die there. Obi can fight for me. I'm gonna stay blocking. Be careful, Anakin. You're running out of limbs. That's fucked up. Throw stuff at him, run away, force heal. Throw stuff at him, run away, force heal. But there's no targeting for the force. There's no targeting for any of this game. So I keep accidentally grabbing him and having to softly put him back down. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to pick you up like a baby back there. Finally, he's far enough away. All right, let's grab this and throw it at him. I, 
I cannot believe it. I managed to sneak my way to the final area. I keep healing, but he immediately gets me right back down there. Our health is matched up. He's moving in on me. This is it. I don't think I can- Andrew. What was that? Use the saber throw, Andrew. Use the saber throw. That ghost is right. <laughs> yes! Saber throw saves the day. And you all thought it was a bad idea. I got one fair. I was fighting for my life out there. I unlocked Dooku. I physically cannot put any more points into Anakin's saber throw. So I put it on force push. Level five. We are still on the ship. Ah, oh, I see. We had to separate them so I could play as Anakin. I just did though. Maybe I shouldn't make wild assumptions about this game from the first two levels. This level sucks <laughs> like it's not as hard as dooku but somehow way more annoying it's just like the other non-boss levels where you have to fight enemies until the wall goes away but this time they thought it would be a good idea to put them behind you where the camera cannot reach fixed cameras can work for beat-em-ups like this but i literally cannot see what i am fighting and then in later sections they wall off the previous part but the enemies are still there shooting at you i can't reach them to kill them. This sucks. If you were mad I was only blocking before because that's cheating, then just know if I didn't block at all times in this level, I would have died. Yeah, okay, why not? I mentioned before that there's no targeting in this game. That wasn't a big problem until right now. There are these wall turrets, and I say wall turrets, but they're really, they come from the ceiling. And the best way to destroy them is to saber throw. Lucky for me, I'm great at saber throw. But your character will always auto target the closest thing, and the turret is way above you, so you will never hit this thing. Oh, but you could just kill everything and then break it, which would be fine if it wasn't the fastest shooting thing in the room. These were not made to be fought. They were made to be hit once and explode. Wait a minute, why did that happen? What is happening? Then we have to do a shooting section and I was dreading it when I heard about it, but there's nothing that can damage you. You just hold a button in the spot and wait for it to explode. Okay, these levels are about the same length. We're probably halfway through the level. Let's see if we can finally fight Grievous. Gracious. Wait a minute, how did this happen? We're smarter than this. Apparently not. R2 will be along in a few moments and then he'll release the rations. See? No problem. Do you have a plan B? That. That's how it ends? Are we ever going to get off this ship? Is a third of this game the opening of the movie? Well, force push is maxed out now. Time to put it all in jump attacks. Level six. We're Anakin, again. No wonder I loved this game. At least Obi is a little more competent again. I guess getting knocked out undid whatever brain damage he sustained in the elevator. I have a decent amount of Star Wars knowledge, but it's all based on what things look like. I know this guy because I called him Captain Pancake as a kid, and I know that these guys exist. I have no idea what their canon names are. I just call them Q-tips. And they're so much cooler in this. Not cooler than Lego Star Wars, cooler than the actual movie. I feel like I should make that point very clear. Like they get torn apart and face hug you with only their torsos. Like I said at the top of the video, so many people remember this era fondly because the games do it so much more justice. And because of development changes also have much cooler ideas than the movie. Look how cool and menacing Grievous looks over here. I don't care if I sound cringe. Grievous has got a badass design and for that and that alone, he is so fucking cool. He's cool in the games. He's cool in the show. He's cool as a toy. If you watch him in the movie, he coughs and then dies. If they brought this character back in like Mandalorian season eight or something, I'm at the point now where I just be like, oh cool, it's the guy from the video game. That's not even entirely false because he debuted in the cartoon way before his movie appearance and he was cool in that too. You'll notice that along with being cooler, he has a giant brain in his chest where his heart should be. That's an early design concept and also an early scene concept.
Why did he have to shoot it? I don't know how to feel about it because the fact that it's cut makes it so much cooler. But I know if it actually made it into the movie, I feel like I'd definitely make fun of it. Wait a minute, he's sticking to the ceiling. I think their feet are magnetized. Their feet are magnetized. Yep, their feet are definitely magnetized. I should be helping Obi-Wan, but my ADHD brain is telling me I need to destroy all of these computers. Just mess up the ship as much as possible. The ship's taking a beating. I know. The ship's taking a beating. I know. The ship's taking a beating. It's on its side and it's cracking and we're crashing. I know it's taking a beating. Now I'm back against the wall and it... Where did you come from? Again, things are spawning from off screen while the Q-tips are honestly kicking my ass. They can get around your blocks. They can dodge every... Wait, you just get bored? They killed me. Hey, uh, who turned up the difficulty? I put a laugh track there, so it seems like a funnier line. I felt dumb when I started this game because, oh, I guess I misremembered and thought the game was hard. Guess I'll have to change the entire theming of the video. But now I'm dumb again because I'm getting left out in the rain out here. These Q-tips are hardcore. I'm gonna be honest, that is the hardest thing I have ever heard in Star Wars. Saber throw and blocking and lunging and force push, uh, don't do anything. My classic repertoire, there's only one thing left to do, jump attack. This is the only way to go about this fight. It's the only thing that works. Or it would be if the final section didn't have a huge electrical pillar in the middle that Anakin loves to target and jump into. Best I can do now, uh, make sure all the computers are destroyed. That torso is going crazy back there. That's the last of them. I wonder how Master Obi-Wan is doing. Anakin, help me! He's freaking me out! I'm sure he's doing fine. I am not doing fine! We finally get to leave this godforsaken spaceship. 23 fair! and nothing else. Do you know how many times I died? The only reason I survived was because of jump attacks. Speaking of which, I'm going all in, baby. Level seven. I don't remember how the movie goes exactly, but now we're immediately going to Grievous on Utapau. And the way the game has gone so far, I think we may spend five levels there. If that's true, then we're about to play a bunch of Obi-Wan in a row. That would explain why we just got a bunch of Anakin. Then the hypothetical people who see the movie through this game for the first time will not see any of Anakin's transformation. Like I don't need a Darth Plagueis speech level and they probably didn't want to spoil all the movie, but then the people who saw this first will just assume, oh, I guess he just turns evil off screen. I'm making wild assumptions about the future instead of talking about the actual level. This is because I hated this level. <laughs> lots and lots of droids. You know how droids are. Sometimes their guns make a shooting noise, even when no bullets come out. Sometimes they just explode. I got caught in a door that took half my health. They introduced this new big red super battle droid. I don't know what he does. I just know that he is uh, big and red. And these big red guys, are the bane of my existence. They're not that different from the ones we faced before. They're just slightly stronger, and the level is made up of very thin corridors. I managed to fight my way through the first big red. Then they send out two more. One of them kills the other one, and one I pushed off the edge. Then they send in a single big red because they didn't want to risk them shooting each other again, I guess. Boy, do I hate fighting these things. And it gets even better when they attack you with tons of other smaller droids behind them. Shooting! This game is made up of small areas in which you have to fight everything, which I assume this would be. Then I figured out, to my amazement, that in this part you could just run away. How was I supposed to know that? The game up until this point has been invisible wall central. I threw my saber and got shot in the face dead. Maybe there's a reason they don't do it in the movies. It leaves you very open to getting shot in the face. It also never occurred to me, you could just push all of them off the bridge. If they're gonna put me in this corridor, I'm gonna take advantage. However, just like everything in this game, it only works sometimes. Like when they spam block you against a wall, there's very little you can do about this. I don't know why they do this. The Big Reds love putting you in a position where the only thing you can do is blow yourself up and them too, mind you. Like all you're doing is raising my immunity to explosions and also raising a sewer slide bomber. Big droid. Obi, you gotta think of better one-liners, man. It sounds like you're hitting on him. I'm getting too old for this. All right, that, that, we're skewing a little generic, but that's slightly better. Two days until retirement. Can you dig it? Can't take the heat? Stay out of the kitchen. You're terminated. Um, that just happened. Get pwned. These are all terrible. Hey, that's the man that shot me in the face. Cool. There are these fire conductors that you have to turn off by throwing your saber at the hose. But again, 
the character you're playing as as other plans. Why did I put all my points in this if you're just gonna suck at it anyway? Guess he got traumatized from that one time he got shot in the face. Finally, some actual platforming. These fire bits will be the end of me. And speaking of aiming, uh-oh, a funny turret. I managed to fight off everything around me, threw an explosive barrel perfectly into the turret, and then... I... I'm at my limit. When they say restart mission, they mean it. Let's watch the cutscene that has no relation to this level again and start from the very beginning. Big Red ran off a cliff. I had nothing to do with that. Maybe they do want to die. The fire is still on behind me, even though the level refuses to scroll. I may not be able to see it, but I know my enemies are burning back there. It helps. It's a shame they're going to kick my ass anyway. They can shield my lightsaber, just like all the other guys. How does every droid have the lightsaber kryptonite? They have found a way to stop our one and only weapon and they all have a shield how are we winning this war let me just cut through this door all right deal with big red back to the door in peace where do you get off then they have these cannons shooting at you and thank god it's from their perspective could you imagine if you had to avoid the lasers without seeing them i wouldn't put it past this game they just now teach you that you can sprint by double tapping forward and they want you to stop behind these blocks but in reality if you keep running the lasers won't ever catch you this should take care of those cannons Oh, I get it. We got a funny guy over here. No, damn it. The worst part is I'm not even dying in cool ways. I'm taking extreme damage from fights, and then I face off against one tiny little guy, and it bests me. A droid killed me. Oh, now there's a continue button? You know what? Maybe I shouldn't complain about this. I'm in an abusive relationship with this game, and I'm terrified that it'll take away my checkpoints at any moment. Thank you, Benevolent Star Wars Episode 3 for the Xbox game. They knew what they were doing with this cannon. You can mow down the enemies that just ran your pockets earlier and it's incredibly satisfying. Good game design. Ah, yes. The droid crab. The bolt is strong here. It in what way? I hate the droid crab. At first I was like, oh, there's eight explosive barrels. I have to use them wisely. But classic Star Wars targeting makes it so that the barrels only hit each other and explode, which is not what I wanted. Sure, there's a big crab here, but hmm, we gotta get rid of these barrels. All the barrels were gone. I blew it. And if you thought you could block this thing, you cannot. Also, another fundamental thing I forgot to mention, this game has no invincibility frames. Like earlier, how I got stuck in the door. If you get knocked down by crab laser, then the exact time it takes for you to get back up is the time the laser takes to recharge. If you get caught in the corner, uh, just throw in the towel, man. I hate the crab laser. After enough running around and doing Obi-Wan shit, I figured the crab out. Remember before when I said his special X and Y move is just a lame shove? Well, that's because it was made for this area of the game. X and Y is the get on crab combo, but they couldn't call it that for obvious reasons. It's silly. So you get on top of the crab, do some damage, get hit, get on top of the crab, do some damage, repeat until dead. Easy enough, right? If you get thrown off of this crab, you're fucked. Sometimes your swinging doesn't do anything. If you're thinking, wow, the health bar is pretty finicky, but it still works, right? But it still works, right? That crab is definitely dead. Oh. oh, okay. What do you think a health bar is? This crab should be dead. I am owed a crab victory. This happened multiple times. How many times must I kill this crab? I legitimately thought I was softlocked, like my copy of the game was just broken. Would have made a lot of sense for kid me. I kind of remember this level and then the last level, but nothing in between that. This had to have been the one that I gave up on when I was a kid, but not this time. I fought this crab for too long to give up now. I'm gonna use his tactics against him. If you aim the crab droid like so, you can immediately get back on top of him. Easy combo. It turns out that once the health bar is empty, to kill him, you have to do the killing blow with Y. And I know, I hate to complain about a children's game being too hard because it didn't hold my hands like a little baby, but I feel like I've earned it at this point. They did not tell me to do this. Crab trial by crab error. <laughs> No 
fucking way. Obi-Wan's gotta get his saber throw up because I feel like we're about to get a lot more of him. Also, he got shot in the face. Level eight. Hello there. General Kenobi. Glad to see that's still intact. It's two against one. Uh, Obi-Wan. There's like five of them. It's five against one. Oh, he's probably only counting the Q-tips as a threat. Then tell me why every time I get the advantage, I get shot from off screen. The game's difficulty is directly proportional to the amount of shit they have going at you at one time. They warm you in by having a backup guy who can do as much damage as you, and then you're here and you're alone. The Q-tips are doing like tag team moves. I've never been more utterly alone in my life. You start the level and you do what I always do smash all the computers. I finally managed to get past a wave of shit they threw at me. And oh, look at some friends. <laughs> Taking my own advice, when I'm overwhelmed, I destroy the computers. It calms me. It's my arch nemesis, Big Red. Only one way out of this. <laughs> two against one. It really isn't, man. I don't know what to tell you. If they're going to double or quadruple a team me, then the best course of action is to split them up. This isn't a walkthrough, by the way. I'm just telling you how I did it, but I imagine you would have known that by now. If you did come here for a walkthrough, then you're simply going to be worse off than before. If these guys are going to continue to stun lock me, then I'm just going to hide behind the clones and let them do all the fighting. It is the Clone Wars, after all. I am getting shot from off screen. Died. Killed by invisible droids. It's one thing to overwhelm me with enemies. It's one thing to not let me move the camera. It's another thing to let the enemies spawn off screen behind an invisible wall that I cannot penetrate and shoot me from behind said wall. Two against one. Man, you gotta knock it off. I don't know why I didn't retain the lesson I just learned last time, but I have to use their own tactics against them. How's it feel to get stun locked by the force? If I can't throw them for some reason, I might as well just let them hover there. And after phase two, now we have to destroy the cannons. Computers? I've been trained for this exact moment. Jump! Jump, man, you gotta- <laughs> Have I mentioned that the force jumps take forever to activate? And it's not like you can kill everything and then be fine. Both the droids and Big Red continue to respawn. You have, at best, a three second window to finish this jump before you get whacked. Two against one. I'm really not in the mood for this right now, Obi-Wan. That would be good advice, Commander. But these guys are all neck. They just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and I'm dead. This level is impossible. Two against Don't you finish the fucking sentence. In my adventures of trying every possible move to see what works best, I found it, it's the Y button. Sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes they block it, but still. I thought because it was a special attack, you could only use it every so often, like the force moves, but no, you can just keep spamming Y and the things will die in one combo and you'll get masterful on your Jedi report card. And with that in the bag, we can finally move on. Didn't I just kill you? Uh, they're not moving. They're just standing there menacingly. My force slowly recharges over time, so just know that when it's full, I will get you. This isn't an AI thing either. They legit can't move past the line. Once you cross over, you also can't move past it. It gets blocked off. You know what? This is a walkthrough now. Do not ever leave this area. The clones got it from here. Yeah, Clone Wars. The answer to why would I ever leave this spot is because you have to to cut the wires. Oh, they thought of everything. Not only are we now out in the open with dozens of droids after us, our good friends the turrets are back. That's it. I barely managed to get out of there with my life. The big boys are gonna keep spawning, but it won't matter. All I have to do is jump in the jump spot. No fucking way. Okay. So it has come to my attention that this is in fact a force spot and not a jump force spot. Hey you, get off that. You're not supposed to be on that. Please just let the level be over. It's not like it can get any worse. the crab droid. I really thought it was a one-off, but no, you gotta put the crab droid in every level. Mid-development, George Lucas himself kicked down the door and demanded, you gotta put the crab droid in every level. And these poor developers are just trying to hit their quota. General, we've analyzed 
alleged weakness of the crab droid. Yeah, I do too. It's called get on the crab. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if I could please get on your- <laughs> Ah, I was so close! Look at his fucking health bar! My recording plan, when I first started this adventure, was to play for an hour every day, and then write about it. But in the first couple days, I ended up beating two levels in under 50 minutes. And I knew there were 17 levels, so I thought two levels a day would be enough, even if it takes under an hour. Playing this level alone, took over an hour. If this game is back-weighted, I'm gonna smash it with a hammer. I vastly underestimated Again, I don't know if I'm fully describing just how frustrating everything about this level end game is. This isn't difficulty, it's overkill. It's like someone tested the game and said it was too easy, so instead of reorganizing the levels, they just spawned more shit in them. And then we add the crab, of course, the crab. This is so frustrating. Uh, he doesn't speak for me. Can all of you please stop talking? You have yet to say anything of substance. Swipe the crab, swipe the crab, get the stab, get the stab. I did it, crab's dead. I hope I never have to see another crab again. I'm pretty sure we're fighting Grievous next, and I am dreading it. If Dooku was hard, then this will be impossible. On the bright side, ooh, baby, look at all that experience. That's crab killing experience right there. Put it all in force push and jump attacks. You know the drill. Obi-Wan's actually starting to catch up with his Padawan. Level nine. You know, it didn't occur to me until right now that Grievous wasn't in the previous level at all. Like he's in the cutscene, and then the level starts and he's gone and then the level's over and he's in the next cutscene. And uh, can we talk about this scene? It seems like most of the stuff that was changed near the end of development was General Grievous. Obviously he's got a big green protruding brain in his chest cavity, but what about this fight? I always remember this fight taking place on a disc like thing with rocks all around. I remember it like that because that's what the Lego level is. And compared to the other Lego boss fights, it's pretty lacking, but when you watch the movie, the last minute of the fight takes place on the disc. Most of the fight is when Obi-Wan races him on the Wawa. Yeah, the Wawa. I think this race joust uh, thing would make a really good video game level though. This game as you fight Grievous through different levels of this building. You end up in the cave and then you end the battle on the disc. They make a big deal about revealing that he has four arms and I'm so used to it by now that I totally forgot this was a reveal. I mean they show him with four arms in the 2003 Clone Wars show and the movie they kind of swiftly run over it probably because it was already shown in all the production material. I think the Lego version is a little more up to date because the only thing worth Worth remembering about this fight on the disc is that Obi-Wan shoots him with a gun. So uncivilized. And in this one, he just, you know what? Let me run you through this level real quick. It was easier than Dooku, but not by much. And I was way less experienced back then. You see, now I know the strats. Block, force, spam Y. Block, force, spam Y. Repeat until results. Unless for some reason, your character does not do the force move you told him to. Okay, so I need to change up my strategy. I'll use the force, but this time I'll use it to throw objects at him. Shit. Oh what, he can block the force now? He's just a robot with a lot of limbs. Where did he learn to do that? And he's got a gun. He's got a gun! After two phases of the base stuff, we make it to the spooky cave. The only cool part of this level, and it isn't even in the movie. I did it. Whoa, what happened to me? I thought I'd, what, why am I impaled on a stalagmite? What? You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Whoa, oh man. That's crazy. They make a big deal about his four lightsabers, but I saw him immediately pull out a gun. Once a droid, always a droid. I gotta say though, after playing through this whole game with a lightsaber so far, that's probably a much better option. So uncivilized. He doesn't speak for me. When I'm fighting the lightsabers, piece of cake, but trying to jump at him and then getting shot three times out of the air, that sucks. But that's not gonna stop me. He may have more limbs, more brains, literally, and more weapons, but what he doesn't have is the same amount of health as me. I may have gotten too cocky. Don't get cocky. Oh, what is this, a Star Wars clip compilation? Beep is up. Back to the basics. 
block, force, dance. Why? I don't know why he does this, all right? He's got a mind of his own. I know there's a multiplayer mode where it's basically just a fighting game, and I'm pretty sure Grievous is the only playable character that doesn't have the force ability, but that would throw off the balancing. So to compensate, they just give him a bunch of crazy shit. Did he just pounce at me? No way this dude is going to do the DDT to muscle buster combo. Very tricky. Leave it to a droid to cheat. Obi, you're getting your ass eaten, dude. This isn't cheating. You just don't know anything. Hit the mat. No, don't let him do it again. This is just embarrassing. Oh, you'll never take me alive. I always learn lessons once and then immediately forget them. I need to use what I learned in the Dooku fight to cheese this one. I gotta conserve my health. I use the cave area and its many rocks as an opportunity to heal myself. And then later you just heal and move slightly to avoid the gunshots. A true Jedi uses everything to his advantage. But like this explosive barrel, for example. Now I got him on the ropes. I mean, he exploded and his health, his health can't get any lower. Oh, well, that's not true. It, it can get low. That's what I'm doing right now. He's on the ropes, dude. There's, I've, I've struggled a lot. You know, I've dropped balls a lot, but don't take that out of, he, I mean, he's a helicopter. It's fine though. You know, look how low his health is. There's, I, I got it. He's on the ropes, literally. No fucking way. Now that I know that there's health here, I don't need to heal as much later. That's another free Obi-Wan fact. Consult the strategy guide for more fun tips and tricks. You can't keep getting away with this. I don't think so. Nice, man. You showed him. After reviewing the footage, I thought this was just another occurrence of video game Obi-Wan and his terrible one-liners, but this line is actually taken directly from the source material. I'm your not. You must realize you are doomed. Oh, I don't think so. Doesn't make it any less of a shitty line though. Can we wrap this up, man? I threw a barrel at him. And I cannot believe that worked. All right, he's on the actual ropes now. I know I said it last, I mean it this time. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the way General Grievous was meant to die at first is... She gets stabbed in the chest. Like in the animatic, just way less brutal. Are you kidding? I'm putting this on force heal. It's the only reason I survive. Ooh, and I unlocked some more concept art. Conceived originally for the film, the bodyguard droids turned out to be the ideal video game character. I disagree. And wait, why are they talking about them like they aren't in the movie? They are most definitely in the movie. I had to watch the whole Grievous fight for this. They're right there. <sighs> I wonder what Anakin's up to right now. Level 10. Okay, so we missed a lot. Who is this old bitch and why is Samuel L. Jackson trying to kill him? It's a very interesting choice to have us only see what Anakin sees. Really puts us in his shoes. What are you doing? He's a traitor to the Republic. Letting him live is too dangerous. Uh, why does it sound like that? This isn't intentional, right? Like he's not supposed to sound like this? Granted, this is a very old disc I threw around the sandbox as a kid. Just from playing as him for a couple seconds after playing Obi-Wan, Anakin is way better. I don't know if the game purposefully made him stronger or I just gave Obi-Wan shit stats, but I never want to play as him again. And I got through this section in record time. <laughs> He lived. See, this is the part they don't show you in the movie. Don't make me kill you. Hey, that's my line. I stand corrected because he has successfully stuck me in this corner. There's no way this deep voice is intentional, right? Come here. There's something I want to show you. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? This is really creepy. No wonder you guys bought him in as a kid. It's too old. Yes. Too old to begin the training. And you have failed the Jedi Order. And I thought Obi-Wan was the one line master. You, you sure showed him. I'm back. Time to do the movie scene we just cut off. I know getting cocky is a weakness and I keep falling back into it, but I really think I can take this guy. Are you really ready to fight? Let me Uh, Mace, I don't think there's gonna be another fight. I can't believe he killed me. Murder is not the Jedi way. Good point, Anakin Skywalker. Murder is wrong. I'm glad we're on the same page about that and will continue to be for the foreseeable future. I know that there's a fight going on, but I'm so transfixed on these dialogue lines like You were a great Jedi. I thought this thing got started because I wasn't a Jedi and I wanted to be. Mace, you were there. You made the call. I know I've been talking about stuff that isn't in the movie and that 
it's probably pretty annoying by now. But did you guys know that the movie originally had a completely different ending? The original ending would have been this. Anakin gets hit by a chair so hard that he dies. We should probably start taking this a little more seriously, so let's talk shop. Most duelists have a different secret ability. Mace Windu has this one move I like to call the Dizzy Ray, where he blasts you with force radiation until you get really dizzy. Mace, Jango Fett is getting away. I got him. On the other side of the ring, my strategy is to just stay in this corner and heal. It hasn't failed me yet. You ready for this, boy? <laughs> God. Never mind. This is way better with the pitch shifted. I'm in the final stretch, Palpatine, and I'm fighting for your life. You don't think you could help a little? I saw the lightning from earlier. I wonder if he's got a green brain in his chest, too. Huh. I know I sound like a broken record, but... That didn't happen in the movie. In the movie, Mace Windu falls out the window. That's why his name, and we never see him again. This has led to a lot of fan theories that he's still alive somewhere out there. But because of this game, we know that is definitely true now. We see him survive getting thrown out the window and he doesn't even get stabbed in the movie. You're welcome, Disney Plus. I take all my checks online. Enjoy your new show. It's all going to force heal. This is non-negotiable. I need the help. Level 11. The last level was a scene for from the movie that went through a lot of changes, this level does not happen at all. We see bits and pieces of it, but this scene is not in the final product. This game does a really good job of putting you in the shoes of Anakin. The crux of the force is that the dark side is easier to master, but weaker in the long run. And I gotta say, this game is way easier when you're evil. I'm never going back. This scene does seem kind of familiar. Wait a minute. Is this the youngling scene? Does this level consist of me fighting children? Padawans are kind of like children. I can't tell if this audio is still pitched down or Anakin is purposefully putting on a deep edgy voice, but also being quiet so his parents in the other room don't hear him. Yeah, I know this game is very broken. Oh, thank God. A poor old lady. I'm tired of fighting jet- Oh shit, Grain is packing heat. I shat my pants when I heard we had to fight a bunch of Jedi in this level, but this level is no Dooku or Grievous or Mace, I guess, but that one was really easy. Oh boy, a big guy. Whatever will I do? I know what I'm gonna do. He, he can block lightning. He can block lightning! Fall back! I am not fighting this guy. He's crazy. The rest of this video will now be an essay about how this game is actually genius by putting you in the mind of the villain. The game up until this point annoys you with lightsaber duels while enemies from the side are shooting at you. But look at me now! I'm the annoying game mechanic. Why are all the brutes located in the middle of this level? Why must I fight an entire species right now? I hate fighting these guys. These sniper guys specialize in throwing lightsabers. Why they're called snipers is completely lost on me. But just know that I am thoroughly getting a taste of my own medicine. After getting out of the library from that one Doctor Who episode, I need to fight my way through a bridge of Jedi. Just what I needed, a very linear battleground with very little space. Luckily, the guardrails aren't very strong. Oh, look who decided to finally show up. Where were you when I was getting my shit pushed in by eight or nine thugs and or hooligans? I like to think that evil Anakin is just kind of like a narc. Like he would walk in on the council smoking a ball and then would go cry to Padme about it. That one brute single-handedly killed my entire army. The lesson we can take away from this the dark side is easier than the light, but the brute is stronger than both of them. These clones have like a five minute life expectancy, and I was getting pretty annoyed by this part, so I'm just gonna let them do what they need to do before they inevitably get killed by the brute, probably. I can't even run because they take up so much space, and it's such a thin level. They have dual-sided lightsabers, so they knock you right out of the air if you try and jump over them. These freaks are genetically modified to piss me off and it's working. I didn't even need Palpy to turn me to the dark side. Just put me in a room with the brutes for one minute and I'm ready to kill children. You'll never win. Are they running away? Why are you running away? Oh no, they're like ducks. They need to go in attack formation. Then you do this whole thing with a cannon and the controls are pretty unclear. Not that I don't understand how to hit one button, but there's a lot of UI going on here and I don't know what it means. It can't be a health bar because I have my own health bar and you only leave the cannon when you die, when your health bar. Maybe it's a cooldown meter, but the times I try and shoot and nothing comes out, the meter isn't even full. 
Am I... Am I dead? Oh. Okay. Run through everything, blow up the trio, blow up the ships, run to the end, call it a day. I hope I never see the brutes again, but I said the same thing about the crab droid, and that did not go in my favor. That will bring any surviving Jedi home, where I will be waiting for them. Lord Vader, a Jedi has penetrated our upper level defenses. Yes, I sense Syndralic. Oh no, not... Syndralig. His wiki article states that he appeared in the Clone Wars series, but that he is from this game. What? So I think the next level is me fighting an original character to this game. Unless he was planned for the movie. If so, thank God they cut that scene. Could you imagine if we spent the whole movie setting up Grievous and then he dies in the middle and then some new guy appears? My name is Syndralic. And then he also dies. And it also states here that his students call him the troll. All right, level over. Max out force seal, max out jump attacks, load up critical attacks. I learned that you could hold someone in the air and lightning them at the same time. I am unstoppable now. See me at the next local Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith the video game tournament. I'm winning the pot. Can we actually do that? I know Shrek Super Slam has a dedicated community. Level. Well. It's a shame they picked this scene for multiple levels because I don't think any of this is canon. You shouldn't have come here. Sarah, Syndralic's greatest pupil has come to greet me. Ah, yes. Sarah. Gotta check the Wikipedia on this one. Sarah Cato was a human female Jedi Knight. Emphasis on the was. Apparently her first appearance was actually in the Star Wars comic called The Brink. So she's not original to this game. But this game is her only other appearance. You think Luke fans threw a tantrum about how he was treated? Imagine being a Sarah Cato fan. Oh boy, I can't wait to see my favorite Jedi in the hit video game Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith the video game. I'm getting ahead of myself. Guys. I've cracked the code. Normally when you force someone, they fall to the floor and you have to wait for them to get back up and then immediately block again. But if you force and then shoot lightning at them, they drop to their feet without blocking. So if you say force lightning mash, you could do a lot of damage in quick succession. Basically, Anakin is unstoppable. Your favorite student is no more. You must be Syndralig. I've heard everything about you. I wonder if he'll do any better. I, thought you I didn't even know about you until five minutes ago. All right, we're done here. I I'm done with this guy. Eight minutes. That level, both fights, took eight minutes. I guess two supposed Jedi Masters are nowhere near as strong as one Jedi Brute. Oh man, I unlocked Syndralic and Saraketo. Never mind, Saraketo fins are eating. Playable character. Woo, that's an upgrade. Putting it all in Force Lightning. Why wouldn't I? This dude is a beast, okay? Anakin is a machine now. He's more machine than man now. And if I ever have to play as Obi-Wan again. Level 13. This one's called Attack of the Clones. I think that's cute. You're too late to help me here, troopers. Yeah, and you guys were too late with helping Anakin on the bridge too. Oh wait, Anakin's evil now. That means you're evil. After the couple hour time skip, Anakin and Obi-Wan have both evolved in their own ways. Anakin's ability is that he does a really cool force choke and Obi-Wan can mind trick. I'm continuing the pacifist run even though I just killed two Jedi. I'm going to turn every clone I meet back to the good side without having to hurt anyone. It's like Steven Universe, except they forget really easily and also die very fast. So my army is slimming at an alarming rate. They really know how to make Anakin feel cool and Obi-Wan feel hopeless. My friends as kids liked Obi-Wan more than Anakin and they probably hated this game because of it. I now have to fight droids, clones, and turrets and as you know by now if you try and hit the turrets which you would want to do because they are the most annoying enemy you cannot without hitting some other random thing on screen at that time i stand corrected these things have no cooldown whatsoever if you get shot once you're gonna get shot more than once luckily you could just get stuck behind them and slash their legs and they won't be able to hit you Whoa, did you guys hear that explosion? 
I wonder what that was. It's the little things that get me. Because the in-level cutscenes are all in-engine, you can make explosions happen in the scene. It's great. Anyway. My stamina's increasing. Now, this may look bad. The things I've died to most consistently in this game were the big what? reds and the brutes, what? and both are wide guys. These boys also seem big. Uh, because they are. <laughs> but I found the new secret tactic called hitting the X button. You can power through the flamethrower animation and for some reason they don't block you. Just keep hitting it and moving in the direction of one of these guys and you'll be fine. Welcome back to the walkthrough by the way. If you think you can't handle fighting, you could always just run away. <laughs> Hmm. Very rarely is the game playing fair, so I feel like I should point out when it is. The turret, and by extension, the droids, also target the clones and vice versa. It's a nice touch and also doesn't make the level that impossible. Good job, video game. Oh man, this game stinks. I have to fight a spaceship? I'm just a guy. I'm just a little guy. And the ship also lacks any cooldown. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. It does have cooldown, but we don't have enough invincibility frames, so they just kick us while we're down. And yes, I said we. If you've made it this far, you're in this whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, there's only one way to beat the ship. Fortunately, it's the saber throw, baby. Let's go. Woo! Saber throw, saber throw, blow myself up, saber throw. Never doubt my expertise. I knew this was a good investment and oh God, I'm gonna die. The ship's moveset that it can tilt slightly. All I have to do is run away and be able to land more than one hit. Again, little to no cooldown. So as long as I hit right now, oh, thank God. Oh, that's weird. There's no health around and I'm dangerously close to dying. Huh. <laughs> Oh boy, take a wild guess on where the last checkpoint was. I died twice to this thing now. I'm staying back and healing. Look, the Clone Wars are still technically happening. Far be it for me to stop these guys from fighting. That's between them. I don't care. Hey, no fair. You guys know I can't go up the stairs. Legitimately, I, I can't go up these stairs. Because they're always so close by each other, the mind trick always boils down to one of the clones using a blunt object and then getting shot by two guys. They always come in threes. I should take out these cannons. All right. This is admittedly really cool. There's a level like this in the N64 Star Wars game. I just love levels like this. It's probably why I like the elevator so much. Just when I thought it was going to be fun. Random explosion. Stole my kill. I think maybe spontaneous combustion is a way more present problem in the Star Wars world. The coolest part of the level uh, lasted about two minutes. In the Lego game, there's an entire level dedicated to the clones dressed as Jedi fighting Obi-Wan and Yoda. That's a scene cut from the movie, and I fully expected it to be in this too, but this scene is surprisingly pretty up to date. I know there's four levels left, but things are pretty wrapped up, aren't they? What could Obi-Wan and Anakin even do aside from fight each other? The next level legitimately takes place on Mustafar. You know, Lava World. I found all the secrets, by the way, so... Think about that from now on. Not that it matters because Anakin is way epicer than Obi-Wan, but I'm gonna max out Force Seal and Jump Attack and then put the rest in Critical Attack. I have a feeling we're in the end game and oh boy, am I excited. Level 14. Oh right, I forgot these guys existed. I was hoping I could keep it that way. Oh well, an assassination's an assassination. Oh damn, it's Pogo the Lesser. I know him, that's my guy because he has lesser in his name. That rocks. Maybe I'll leave him around. Not like the nematode guards. These guys are gonna die. They introduced this cool new gimmick where their weapons stun you for a really long time. And that would be new and interesting if every other enemy couldn't also stun you by just hitting you a bunch. There he is! Set blasters for kill! What? Were they not on kill before? What mode were they on? <laughs> Love me. Look who it is. Even the nematodes have brutes. I can already feel my brow furrowing. It's the same as every other brute. Annoying. Except this guy has like giant magnetic hitboxes, which you think would be great. 
but there's no targeting in this game. So if you're being surrounded by easily killable little guys and one brute, you swing at the little guys and the brute's giant hitbox blocks him from getting a hit too. It's just, it's a whole mess. My notes around this part are pretty unclear because I was keyboard smashing sporadically, but I think I died uh, probably due to combos, but let's just pretend I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do that, but it does give me an idea. You guys should really install railings here. So, I started to panic here. You never really know what a soft lock looks like unless you're in one. It was just me and the shooting guy. He shoots a new type of bullet that does not reflect back and hit him. I see him and I see wires to cut. Normally, you have to clear out all the enemies to get a bridge, which I already did kind of. At this point, I realized I could still hear the brutes yelling even though they fell in the lava hole. While trying to force lift and shock this guy, I pushed him too far so that I can't reach him. Eventually, I got myself out of it. By sheer luck, he teleported back when I wasn't looking and positioned myself in a very particular way to cut the wire. And then when the elevator went up, I heard the brute cry out in pain. <laughs> So all is right in the world. Sorry, did I just say elevator? I love these elevator sections. You get to fight a bunch of stuff while going upwards and... And it's over. Why must you play with me like this? It's not right. I gotta survey the room, all right? There's two brutes I need to kill. I killed a brute and... Wait, weren't there two of them? I have the proof. There were two of them, right? This is why you guys need the railing. Oh no, Poggle! Politicians run away and leave me in a room with, uh, you guessed it, brutes. I got myself up on this table, which I did not think I could do. And the brutes also do not know how to get up on this table. But again, who am I to turn down a golden opportunity to easily kill things? There's way more of you than I remember. I remember there being like two. And even then, I, I kind of forgot about you. Oh, so I just killed them? They're not gonna fight back? <laughs> cool. I'm asking you for mercy. Mercy? Yes. You won't kill me. It's not allowed for a Jedi Knight. You did just see me kill this entire room of people, right? I'll destroy your ship. Welcome to your destruction. A ship. Why's it always gotta be ships? I started throwing barrels, knowing damn well I would run out at some point. He is using his lightsaber to destroy the ship! No, I'm not. But that's a pretty good idea. Saber throw, saber throw, saber throw. <laughs> I died. That's fine. I just get to kill them all over again. Let's mix up the order a little bit this time. I run away from the bombs, jump over the laser. Sometimes I throw my saber at the ship and the ship explodes. I have successfully assassinated the separatist. I never want to see another droid or brute again. I did unlock the Mustafar lava challenge though, so suck on that. You know the drill by this point. Do I really have to spell it out? Max out force grabs, max out critical strike, put the rest in grapples. I love Anakin. I put so much care into his character build and I figured out lightning combos, but I know damn well they're gonna make me play as Obi-Wan next. Level Yoda's here. A summit of the temple we must go. There shall we find the beacon. Why does he sound like that? This actually looks suspiciously a lot like that one Lego level. We don't get any hooded clones, but this level layout is almost identical to the Lego game. And you know, Yoda's here. I think this scene is way longer than the deleted scenes let on. Yoda is the only thing keeping me going now. I can't stand Obi, but I love me some little green freak. Even though you can unlock multiple different characters in multiplayer that all play differently, you're stuck to Anakin and Obi-Wan in the campaign. Anything that Obi and Anakin don't see, does not happen. However, that isn't true with the Lego game. There's an entire level dedicated to Yoda meeting Chewbacca in that game. I get that they were limited to at most six levels per movie, but I'm still really suspicious of the Yoda and Sidious fight. Do you remember the end of Revenge of the Sith where Anakin and Obi-Wan fight for a couple minutes completely uninterrupted? No, because that's not what happened. That's not what happened. You remembered wrong. Because that fight constantly cuts back to Yoda and Sidious fighting for some reason, and it doesn't add anything to the movie, and it seems very pasted on. And if it isn't in either of the pre-release licensed games, it might have been a very last minute change. I should probably talk about the actual level now. I just, the most interesting part about this game is that it exists. Oh no, super clones, whatever will I do? I could... I keep hitting the attack button. It's weird, there are no average difficulty levels. They're either ass poundingly frustrating or really boring and straightforward. Ah! You have a jet pack. 
How did you fall to your death? At least I have my little green buddy to get me by. Divide that attention we can. Shall we split up? And may the force soon bring us together again. What? Why? All right, gang, everything seems to be going well. Let's split up and die alone separately. It's not like we're looking for anything either. We know the temple. Now I got to deal with Obi-Wan. I preferred it when the clones were our allies. Yeah, man. Uh, who wouldn't? I promise I didn't skip over a lot of this level. I fight a couple guys and then Yoda immediately comes back to save me. What was the point of splitting up to make me scared and grow a dependency? Because it worked. Yoda's so cool. He mows through people like butter. Plus, he's small and green. I like both of those things. A peculiar skill you have, Master Obi-Wan, for finding trouble. I've spotted the Jedi. Well, give me a warning next time. Where did you all come from? I can read, all right? Yoda wants my help to lift something, and I don't want to let him down. But the force event goes off your actual force meter, so I have to wait for it to fill back up before I help him. So we're just both standing here like assholes. I'm letting Yoda down. Oh yeah, I was here earlier. Actually, I think we should leave, like, right now. I've never seen anything so cruel. Why would the clones do this? <laughs> Why would the clones do this? Obi-Wan just be saying things. Attacking the clones are. Hmm. Even Yoda's backwards talking can't make this game's weird dialogue work. It follows the exact same plot as the movie. How could it have bad writing? All oh, right. Flame, Flame What? What movie do you think we're in? Ah! And stay down. Obi, that isn't much better. I'm getting flashbacks. I need to get out of here. Let's just cut the door. Oh, I guess I'm outside now. New objective, destroy clone gunship. <sighs> All right, at least you get to use a big gun for it. I still don't know how the cooldown on these things works, but I know I can shoot the rockets before they hit me. Oh no, not melee weapons. The knives aren't actually the issue. It's the fact that they can dodge everything. And really, it's not even the dodging. It's the annoying motion blur that assaults my eyes. What could be worse than two knife clones? Four knife clones. They're testing me and my patience. Fancy armor's no match for skill. All right, I definitely had nothing to do with that. Because of the clones constantly being copied over and over, they're just incredibly unstable. They can drop dead at any moment, but we could just clone their corpse after that. Good as new. Into the security recordings you go, only pain will you find. I must know the truth, Master. It can't be. You have done well, my new apprentice. Now, Lord Vader, go and bring peace to the Empire. I can't watch anymore. You watch like five seconds. Decent level, six out of 10, not enough Yoda. Max done, rest and critical. Who cares? I'm sure none of these stats will come back to haunt me later. Oh, and by the way, Anakin can use his force lightning on any enemy, but Obi can only use mind take on the little guys with guns. You're not allowed to seduce anything cool. Even if I wasn't biased, Anakin would still be better. Level 16A. Wait, 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 wait. 16A? And here we are. The final act of the movie. End of the game. And because we have to follow the canon story, we have to play as Obi-Wan and kill Anakin. Oh, cool, I love this scene. I know it like the back of my hand. I know this part. He's gonna say, you will try. You will try, my old friend. That's not the line. What else is different? Aside from, you know, the snarky remarks. They're still good in you! I know it! I'm hardly breaking a sweat. You know, this would sound a little more genuine if you didn't taunt me right after. I've pretty much mastered the fighting technique at this point. Just let them hit you over and over, block the hits, and then use a strong attack. That won't stop me from fucking it up, though. Anakin, please, come back to the light. Face up to what you've done. I can help you! It's too late for that. You're too late. You only want to help yourself. You know that's not true. This is actually getting pretty intense. This should have been in the movie instead of the monster mash. Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now. I spent a lot of sleepless nights in this room. Wait, does that make sense? I used the cheat code to get to this level and probably only got as far as the computer room. You cannot get on this table though. I tried. The odds are really stacked against me though because I forced him into the cutscene 
but it shows me getting forced. This is not fair. The Chancellor is manipulating you. You've become a puppet of the Sith. This is, dare I say, better dialogue than the movie. Uh. I only wanted what was best for you, Anakin. I wasn't prepared to train someone like you. What do you mean someone like you? That's your failing, not mine. Perhaps I did fail you, but I won't abandon you to the dark side. That's not your decision to make. What's the matter, Anakin? Afraid? You see, right there. That's why I don't trust what you're saying. You should run when you had the chance. That's actually a good idea. I'm out of here. Now, to throw that barrel into him. I hate this game. Let's move on to the video game bridge level now. No wonder this scene works better as a video game. I told you I was the best. Come on, unless you're afraid. What's wrong with you, man? Read the room. Oh, cool, we get to do a platforming section now. No way we're gonna fight on that tiny platform. <laughs> Superman. Well, this is a very claustrophobic battlefield. I'll bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> you know what? You guys are both messed up. They really are perfect for each other. It's a shame he killed me, and I was so goddamn close, too. There's no checkpoints here, man. This ain't your mommy Star Wars Revenge of the Sith license video game. We gotta start over now. And for some reason, I don't feel like watching the cutscenes over again. I don't want to fight you! Imagine someone does a Devil May Cry combo to you with a laser sword while yelling about how much they don't want to fight you. Like, you could probably just knock him out. You don't need to do all this. Did he just lightning me? That's my thing. They should have left you on Tatooine! Oh my god, brutal. Obi-Wan really said go back to where you came from, huh? You need to leave! Surely I can't mess this up a second time. Ugh, stand down. Oh. That's how it ends. It's over, Anakin! Oh my god! I have the high ground! He did it! He said the thing! The thing! The thing from Star Wars! While this game was early in the movie's development, we still don't get girly Darth Vader with his hands up in the air. That's how it looked in the trailer, and everyone rightly made fun of it. Well, that was Star Wars. Does it really matter what I put the stats into now? We roll the credits but I still feel like something's missing. Level 17. The cool thing about this game, the thing that I still remember to this day, is that you can play the level you just played, the ending of the movie, but as Anakin. Oh, this dude doesn't stand a chance. I actually know how to use force lightning. Anakin Skywalker is no more! What the fuck was that? Wait, could I have done that the whole time? <clears throat> Never matter. I still rock with the lightning stick, baby. The way I remember this going is that the last level you get to choose which character you want to play as. So even if this was before the film's release, you wouldn't know for sure which ending was real. I mean, one is live action and one is in-game footage but still. But no, the Anakin level is just a little extra bit added after. It's still really cool though, but mostly at the end. I did watch all the cutscenes over again multiple times to see what other changes there are. And uh, none. Yeah, that forest transition makes a lot more sense now. Just like old times, right, Obi-Wan? Remember we were on that ship together for way too long? And just as anticlimactic as Obi-Wan wins, Anakin wins, but with one difference. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate the power of the dark side. Don't try it! You shouldn't have underestimated my power. Or the power of the dark side, whatever, depending on which line you read. Guess even the high ground couldn't save you. I'm struggling to think of jokes that are funnier than just the fact that this exists, but it's like boxing a giant. Why even try? Excellent work, my apprentice. There are none left to oppose us. The galaxy is ours now. Your new weapon, Lord Vader. No! The galaxy belongs to me! This is so cool. I've gone through waves of irony, post-irony, pre-post-post-irony, but I don't care anymore. This is cool. But imagine this timeline for a second. Imagine the original Star Wars, except instead of cool dark suit, it's just like an old guy. You know what? 
I don't know if I like this anymore. Because Luke still, like, exists. He still got born. I guess he could go find his kids. Who's gonna stop him now, you know? The credits don't roll this time. I did unlock a ton of shit, though. The implication is that the previous level is the ending, and this is a bonus. But then why put 17 level slots? Why even show this throughout the game? This is framed as the true ending. I know this is a dark movie with a bittersweet ending, but the video game ending with this further proves my point. The game dev's favorite is Anakin, so they're giving him special treatment. And you know what? I don't blame them. Well... You think I would have thought of a point by now? Nope, this is simply just for selfish reasons. I wanted to beat the game I could never beat as a kid, and I did. I guess if we learned anything from this, it's that Star Wars is fun. Like, I started this video with the same point, movies better as games, but I was definitely more mad about it. But now I'm just seeing it in the lens of why I fell in love with these characters in the first place, despite being in a movie of that quality. There's probably a lot more this game has to offer. I've been unlocking bonus modes, throughout the game and i know it as a multiplayer mode after playing only this video game non-stop for multiple days i truly believed i could beat anyone and compete on the grandest stage but for that same reason nobody wanted to play with me playing this broken game is bad enough now imagine playing this broken game competing against someone who has made this his life for the last month that man has nothing to lose now i think it's time we finally shut the book on star wars episode 3 revenge of the sith the video game for the Xbox. It was for other consoles too. I imagine it ran exactly the same on the PS2. Everything runs on the PS2. But did you know that they actually ported this game to the Game Boy Advance as well? It's not exactly the same game. It's a way better. Like it has a way more robust combat system despite being on a console with significantly less buttons. The art styles inspired by the 2003 Clone Wars series make each character and location pop way more. Padme actually appears in this version. We get to see the big end scene in dialogue form. Obi-Wan learns to preserve his identity after death through Yoda and Qui-Gon Jinn. Why does everything need to explain? And don't worry, I know what you're gonna ask. And the answer is yes, you fight Syndralic in this game too. <laughs> Thank you.